Hey there, I'm Heidi Swap, and I'm here at scrapbook.com and I'm really excited to share some of my favorite little mini book techniques and ways to make your mini books wow. You know what I mean? So this first one is, you guys, it's so easy. This is literally the best little project that you can just get done super quick because we're actually just using the cards from a card set, right? We all have card sets. This one that I'm showing you is from my new Art Walk collection. And I got in there and I literally just picked out one of each of the cards. There's 10 different uh, prints. So let me just show you where we're going with this, okay? I actually made this little mini book for a trip that my daughter, like trip of a lifetime that my daughter went on with some friends to Hawaii, like lucky girl, okay? And it's a kind of a small book. You can see that it's not very big. And each one of the pages inside here, like I said, is a different fun pattern print. And I've just simply put like one photo on each page. You might notice there's no journaling in here. And that's because I have tasked her with that job. She's the one that's got to remember and document this. So let me show you seriously how easy this is to put together. Okay, so you're going to pick out all of, the, like I told you, I picked one of each. I'm going to set that aside. Then you're also going to need two pieces of chipboard that are the exact same size as the cards that you're using. All right, so I've already cut the chipboard. Now, let me show you. This is so super easy. I've already got one started so that I can kind of show you where we're going. You're going to take the card, turn it inside out, and you're just going to fold it down again, okay? Now notice how I'm just stacking these up on top of each other. Now, all I'm gonna do is actually glue the pages back to back so that they now start forming a book. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, I, um, I'm just using a little tape runner here. What's important is that I'm gonna go all the way around the edge and I like to say this is kind of like the price is right, as close to the edge without going over, because this is really what's holding the book together. Then as you layer this on top, you wanna make sure that those corners are really lined up and that you take care to kind of keep the, all the edges kind of um, directly on top of each other. It's really easy for it to kind of start like leaning to one side and we really want them to be layered right on top of each other. Okay, so this is the start of my book. So hopefully you're starting to get an idea of how this comes together, okay? So I've got the rest of the pages here ready to go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm simply going to add this to my stack. All right. Kind of, we're ready to go here. We're off and running. So now I'm gonna take my chipboard covers and I'm gonna glue this right on to the top here. Okay, so go ahead and just again with the glue all the way around the edge. We'll line this guy right up on the front. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the back. All right, so now we just have the basic chipboard cover and our inside pages. Okay, so to create the front cover, you can see that these are more of just the patterns from the cards. So what I'm gonna do is actually just take one of the cards and I actually am just gonna cut that right in half. This is gonna make the front cover and the back cover of our, our little book. So you can really choose any pattern from the, the whole set for the front and back cover. Okay, that's the back. Okay, well, make sure, make sure that you're looking at the front 
and the front of the book all at the same time. Okay, now you can see that I've got this cute little binding, which is again another piece of the collection. So it's actually from this card right here. So what I'm going to do, you can see that it's a little over the front and then it wraps around to the back. Oh, I forgot to mention, you could use a different pattern on the front and the back of the, of the, of the project. So whatever you like. Okay. Now this time we're actually going to utilize the crease that's already there. So I'm going to cut about an inch before the crease. And since I'm not wrapping it around all the way, I'm just going to give myself a little extra room. So this is probably, I guess I could measure it three inches. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue on the one inch side of the crease. Again, make sure that it's all right side up. And you're going to line, notice how I'm lining the edge of the book, the edge of the chipboard up with that crease. Okay. Now we're going to wrap it around. And this is where, this is how we know exactly what size we want to make it. You just wrap it around and kind of crease it, kind of pinch it. All right. And then we want to go ahead and fold that nice and straight. All right, so this is gonna wrap all the way around my binding and onto the back of the book. So what's important is that we're gonna put the adhesive on the outsides of the fold and not right in the spine, okay? So again, we'll, with this adhesive all the way around all four edges, line up the crease with the edge of the chipboard and wrap it all the way around. That's it, the book is done. And now all you have to do is have fun adding stickers and fun stuff to the front. So just to kind of show you what I did here on the front cover, this is actually a sticker from the, the like from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I've used one of the little stamps from the stamp set. I've used some uh, definition stickers. I've used some of the letter stickers. This is from the inside of the project pad and also some alphabet thickers. So I've kind of used those same pieces all the way throughout. I love to use photo corners. And so I've used the cute, fun mix and match of photo corners. I love to layer stickers right onto the photos. That's something that makes it really fun. So in the next video, I'm going to show you a little alternative that will allow you to turn each one of these pages into a pocket. So keep watching. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.